So those are the new um, split phase uh, for the US market MPP solar. Uh, they're green, that, that basically means that the, those are the hybrid version. Uh, those can both be off-grid and rig type. And uh, I'm using it in both ways. Um, mostly, um, you know, off-grid. So um, they are connected in um, in a parallel mode right now. So you see, there's two serial connections here, going here, and then there's also the the uh, uh, connection, the red wires, which kind of share the amperage between them. So right now they're uh, spitting out 110 volts. Uh, both each one to uh, this box here and then this box is connected basically to an outlet that charges my my car um, And that's the main usage of it uh, but um, At some point I can convert it to 220 volt in the US fashion, which is a split phase so two hots of 110 and That will basically come from this box here on the bottom uh, which right right now is not functional, uh, although it's connected, the breakers are shut off. Now I need to pass inspection from the town uh, in order to uh, be able to connect it to the grid. Um, the off-grid function is connected to the four, um, not four, it's actually eight Chevy Volt batteries. Each one of the batteries is two kilowatt hour, so combined it's 16, although uh, because those inverters are only providing, uh, giving you the ability to go all the way down to 20 volts and the batteries can actually go down to 18 volts, I'm only getting uh, roughly about 3.3 uh, kilowatt from each two. Uh, so overall I'm getting uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 12 kilowatt hour. Um, from those batteries so in a good sunny day when everything is cranking uh, it takes me about half a day to charge the batteries um, and what I try to do I try to keep my car connected whenever I can so solar will go directly from the Sun not to the batteries to the car which is a nice function so let's see what's happening now and I'll try to focus here it's hard to see green green everything is green here all right so Okay, so this one is now producing 863 uh, watts. Uh, it's a crappy day. Um, let's see, this one, this one should do more. Oh, there you go. This one is doing 1.5 kilowatt. Uh, so combined, I have somewhere in, yeah, somewhere in the neighborhood of 2.4 uh, kilowatt. Uh, which is going to, to the batteries right now. The batteries right now are, let's look at the new battery, it is at 21.5 uh, volts. So I set it up that, that around 22 volts, it will start feeding the car. And then of course it will come um, mostly from the sun and the leftovers will go to the batteries. Uh, now to talk about how the, the grid tie function works, uh, it doesn't take the power from the batteries uh, directly to the grid. What happened is that only when the batteries are 100% full and um, uh, there is a leftover of solar power, it will basically go to the grid. Now, in a good day, when the batteries are 100% full and I'm not charging my car because I'm not home, what typically will happen, those two can pull out 4,000 watts of 4 kilowatt and this um, this this outlet here not to mention it's not 220 it's just 110 but it's also rated only for 15 amp uh, so 15 amp multiplied by uh, um, by uh, 110 volts it's less than uh, 2,000 watts uh, if you consider you know uh, that you shouldn't go all the way to 50 so I'm not using that. I know it's connected, but the breakers are down. The breakers here are down. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run a 50 amp. Uh, look at this guy. He just found a huge stick. Hi, Chewy. Did you find a stick? That's awesome. Um, so I'm going to run a 50 amp 
uh, uh, connection here uh, to this wall here, which will be a, a 1450 plug and then I'll get approval from the town to connect it and then uh, I'll be able to feed the grid my house whenever I the batteries are 100% full and I'm not using uh, I have enough leftovers from the side so the setup looks, looks a little bit cumbersome you know, mainly because there are like 10 cables you know two for batteries two for the solar two for the parallel connection two for the amperage control between the two when they're running in parallel mode um, one for the output which goes to my car again and one for the grid the yellow one so there's a lot of cables uh, in a small relatively small space and I'm kind of limited because this door which is not a functional door uh, is right here to the right it's I'm not using that door at all I don't even know why it's here uh, so that's it so that's basically uh, the split phase MPP solar uh, I know they're just out now, um, the, they, they got out about a month, not a month ago, even less than a month ago. I got them a week ago, I have no complaints, they're fantastic, uh, they really work nice and um, um, that's about it. So this is the setup of the, uh, the two solar panels, two uh, units, uh, they're both producing the same amount of uh, electricity, 2000. Uh, watts. Uh, this one on the right has eight panels of uh, 245 watt each and the one on the left is uh, 345, six of them. So um, the one on the left is situated slightly better in terms of angle to the sun and not getting shed from the house so it's producing uh, about 10% better uh, than the one on the right. And each one of those is connected to its own uh, inverter. Um, um, it's just that I, it is, I couldn't find something that will will take 4,000 watts um, and with 24 volt batteries and 110 output for the U.S. market. There is a, a shutoff switch for each one individual. Uh, yep. Oh, I forgot to mention there's the laptop here. Uh, which is connected to uh, both of those, actually to one of those. You only need to connect to one uh, and it captures uh, live statistics um, on everything. And there's a website that I built that is displaying that data live, uh, historical graphs and everything. Uh, if you look at the other you know, videos in my channel, you'll be able to see it. And yeah, the sun just came out now behind the cloud. So you can hear it cranking. This is... Um, 1.5, 1.57, and this is 800, hard to see, sorry, 800 watts. Uh, but, you know, when the sun, in, in about an hour, if there's not going to be any clouds, I'm going to get the full 4,000 watts for a good hour or so. Uh, 